illustrations by Pete. So, I try not to use clickbait titles for my videos, and one way I do that is by first getting to the point of the video and at least explaining what you will be watching as quickly as possible. Then I quickly get lost into a rant, a ramble, or fall completely down the rabbit hole and I try to take you with me, sometimes kicking and screaming. No, 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 I don't want to do that. I just enjoy your company, and I like talking to you, because you give me your undivided attention, and more often than not, you give me great life advice. And they always come out on top, which is more than I can say for the daily advice I get from many other people. And I appreciate that. As I go further and further into my thoughts, it's very easy for me to get lost, and I like you there with me because after all, who wants to be lost, alone? Can we find our way around, or will we stumble upon every idea and whim that I spew out in an unorganized stew of information versus entertainment? So I try to get better at storytelling and thought mapping in such a way that you become lost in the tale and have a hard time finding your way out. See, if I can do that, then you might stay around a while longer. I like when we spend more time together. The twisted sense of things is like trying to leave a casino or a Walmart or a carnival at night. You get so turned around and everywhere you look there are unsightly characters that keep distracting you from finding the exit until they decide they want to close. By then, you've given up all hope and you just let them escort you out quietly and hope that by morning you have forgotten the whole experience. As they pull you from the grasp of imagination, your eyes feel heavy. Your feet drag, kicking up little sticks and paper cups along the dusty path. Your heart beats a little harder the closer you get to the exit. But in your mind, you aren't sure whether you're headed in or whether you're headed out. You remember the time you gained the strength to overcome your fears and desires to flee, but that moment is gone, and you are only aware of your immediate surroundings. You catch the drool just before it leaves your lips, and splash some water on your face as you rub your bloodshot eyes and try to focus on your surroundings. Things are dark, but a bit of moonlight shines on the ground next to a tree beside the old shed. You've never been in there but somehow you have fond memories of the contents inside. Was it you or someone else whose memories you have hidden away from prying eyes inside an old pail that sits under the tree? You listen to the dewdrops fall into it one by one, almost causing enough anxiousness to widen your eyes, but that isn't really possible at this point. They feel heavier and heavier but you pay no attention as you listen to the soft sound of the breeze blowing through the dying leaves on a crisp autumn night. It's so peaceful, and it's so calming, that you almost stumble as you realize you're out. Out of the place you had tried desperately to leave, but could not find your way. You begin to smile as you realize maybe you were never really anywhere, but here, next to the pail that is under the tree, that is next to the old shed. You can't be alone, because I've been here with you the whole time. You've been keeping me company while I was lost. But don't worry. After a good night's sleep, you will feel rested and rejuvenated and have that sweet smell of morning dew just out of reach as you climb up out of your cocoon and face the day with a new sense of vigor and confidence that you survived the twisted sense of this tale. With victory by your side, you will wonder no more and have all the answers that you have waited for. Ah, wasn't that fun? I had fun too. Let's do this again sometime.